Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday the 10th of March. India Australia agrees to strengthen economic and defense ties. PM Modi raises temple attack issue. Spiraling inflation continues to haunt Pakistanis. And Nepal elects new president amid crisis in ruling coalition. And now for all the details. India and Australia on Friday agreed to accelerate a broader economic partnership and to boost their defence ties after a meeting between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Australian counterpart Anthony Albanese in New Delhi. Albanese told reporters that during their annual summit, they made significant and ambitious progress in strengthening bilateral ties. He said he was hopeful of an early conclusion of the ambitious comprehensive economic cooperation agreement this year which has been stuck in negotiations. India and Australia are security partners through the Quad grouping, which also includes the US and Japan. Prime Minister Modi and I discussed the increasingly uncertain global security environment and committed to strengthening the Australia-India Defence and Security Partnership to address shared challenges and work towards an open, stable and prosperous Indo-Pacific. PM Modi said he also raised the issue of attacks on temples in Australia in incidents that were linked to pro-Khalistan groups. And he has given me a trust that the safety of the Indian society is for them a special practice. Albanese, who was on a three-day visit, also paid floral tributes at the memorial of Mahatma Gandhi in New Delhi. Bilateral trade between India and Australia was 27.5 billion US dollars in 2021. India says trade has the potential to nearly double to 50 billion dollars in five years under an existing free trade deal. India and the United States on Friday signed a memorandum of understanding on establishing semiconductor supply chain and innovation partnership as both countries seek to spur private investment. This came after talks between India's Commerce Minister Piyush Goyal and his US counterpart Gina Raimondo under the framework of India-US commercial dialogue. The pact will seek to establish a collaborative mechanism and aims to facilitate commercial opportunities. India has been seeking to attract more big-ticket investments under a $10 billion incentive plan for chip and display production, aiming to become a key player in the global supply chain. Record high inflation and recent belt tightening measures by Pakistan government have made life difficult for people across the cash trapped country. Residents say they have lost all hopes of economic revival as it seems like a never ending struggle. A report. Frequent price hikes of all essentials has shaken the domestic budgets of people across cash-strapped Pakistan as the country awaits a crucial $1.1 billion IMF loan. As part of reforms, the government has hiked energy and fuel prices, revered subsidies and introduced new taxes to generate over 170 billion rupees. The fiscal adjustments have already fueled 50-year record high inflation, which residents say has put forth what seems like a never-ending struggle to make ends meet, while they have lost all hopes in the rulers. देखो जी उन की बांधा को सानू जिन्ने भी उक्तवरान ने किसी तक कोई आसमी इतनी रही है कि Finance Minister Ishak Dar on Thursday blamed the previous government's failure to meet commitments has created a trust deficit leading to the delay in the IMF deal. The agreement would unlock other financing avenues to shore up foreign exchange reserves, but the present situation has shattered hopes of the common public. The Taliban governor of Afghanistan's Balkh province, Mohammad Dawood Muzamil, known for fighting against Islamic State fighters, was killed in a suicide attack at his office on Thursday, along with two others. 
The Islamic State militant group claimed the responsibility for the attack. The incident marks one of the most senior officials confirmed dead since the Taliban stormed back to power in 2021. Taliban spokesman Zabiullah Mujahid on Twitter expressed condolences and said Muzamil was martyred in an explosion by the enemies of Islam. The Islamic State has emerged as the biggest security challenge to the Taliban administration and has claimed a series of deadly attacks in recent months, some on civilian targets and others on Taliban security forces. Amid a political crisis, Nepal has elected a social democrat, Ram Chandra Podel, as its third president. The election of Podel comes after a split in the communist-dominated ruling coalition, headed by Prime Minister Pushpakamal Dehel. Podale, the former speaker, was a lawmaker from Nepali Congress for six times and minister five times. Nominated by the Congress, he had the backing from ten parties, including Dehel's Mayur Center, in the Thursday's election. He secured a comfortable majority against his contender Subhash Chandra Nembang, a candidate of CPN UML. <laughs> ये दरवार देखी नहीं जानी आवनी बरे मंचे सभा मुखो नाताले मौ पहले को राजा को पालन में पनी दरवार भीतर पनी जानते हैं कुरा उन दियो अंता अंता मा तीस बार मलत नौ लो दही ना वाला अब पची पनी राष्ट्रपति हरु आवनु वो राम राम बरन राजसाब अंतिस पश्चिम आजे PM Dehel's backing of the Nepali Congress candidate has resulted into withdrawal of support from key alliance partners CPN, UML and RPP, requiring him to take a vote of confidence. He is expected to cobble together a new coalition with the Nepali Congress party and other smaller groups in the next two weeks. Sri Lanka's Central Bank Governor Nandalal Virasinghe has said that the island nation aims to announce a debt restructuring strategy in April and step up talks with commercial creditors ahead of an IMF review of a bailout package in six months. The bailout is the culmination of months of negotiations as Sri Lanka looks to emerge from its worst economic crisis. Currently, the island nation has to repay about $6 billion annually until 2029, President Ranil Vikramisinghe told the parliament on Tuesday. But Veera Singh has said this amount will be reduced post-debt restructuring. The IMF is most likely to approve a preliminary agreement on March 20 for a $2.9 billion bailout as Sri Lanka has secured financing assurances from all its major bilateral creditors, including India and China. Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama delivered special sermons this week to Buddhist monks and devotees from across the world in the Indian hill town of Dharmshala. Around 10,000 devotees attended the two-day-long teaching session. Take a look. Tibetan spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, on Thursday delivered special sermons to Buddhist monks and devotees from across the world in the Indian hill town of Dharamshala. At least 10,000 devotees attended the two-day-long teaching session in the main Tibetan temple, which started on Wednesday on the request of the Gandan Tekchingling Monastery of Mongolia. India hosts a large community of Tibetans, including the exiled leader, the Dalai Lama, one of the main source of friction with neighboring China, which accuses the Nobel laureate of stirring unrest. I'm here for Dalai Lama's teachings. This is the last day of the teachings. I'm so blessed that uh, I'm very fortunate to have this uh, precious uh, teachings, you know. So you can see that uh, so many people from all over the world. The Dalai Lama fled from Lhasa for asylum in India in 1959 after an abortive uprising against Chinese rule. He has since lived mostly in Dharamshala, where his supporters run a small government in exile and advocate Tibet's autonomy by peaceful means. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.